Hey, it's Scott with the Dunnage Garage, and we are getting ready to relocate a satellite antenna. Stay tuned. Alright, let's jump into this. First step, slide the seats forward, and then we've got to take off the trim or move the trim out of the way on the B post to get to the antenna wire. Question you may be having is why are we doing this? Or if you're watching this video, you know why we're doing this. As soon as you put some sort of aluminum over your antenna, it quits working. Right here is this plug that you need to unplug for your antenna and your antenna wire. And that's right at the top of your B post, right where my hand is right now. So when you put a headliner in and you put the insulation barrier, if you accidentally cover that speaker, or not the speaker, but the antenna, your satellite radio quits working. You put a roof rack on top of your vehicle that covers that, again, your radio quits working. Put a rooftop tent, guess what? It's probably going to stop working. I got on the forums to verify that theory and everybody who put an aluminum hard sided rooftop tent on their vehicle regardless of what vehicle it was said as soon as they did it they're in, their satellite radios quit working. And if you're watching this on Sunday when it uh, premieres I'm already putting the rooftop tent on and trying it out for the first time. That video will be coming up soon. So yep, I broke down, I bought the rooftop, we're going to be doing some more overlanding, so I got to get this set up so I can have a radio that works. The thing is, my FM radio, it does work, and the rooftop tent really won't affect it. So if you don't have the satellite radio, you don't need to worry about it. But if you do have the satellite radio and you use it, you know, this is how you adjust and move your antenna. See. For me, there's so much bad information out there in the media, in the news, there's so much music that while people find it entertaining, it's really degrading in my opinion. So I'm pretty particular what I listen to and generally it's Christian music and my FM radio doesn't pick it up very well when I'm traveling. So that's why I have the satellite radio. These plugs right here I'm showing you, the black one is for your wire loom, the white one is for your antenna. See both those run side by side but not tied together from your B pillar down up to your dash. So you got to unplug the black piece from the stud in the Jeep and then simply take the antenna wire off, put the uh, black piece back on the stud to put, hold your wires in place. Pull your antennas down or excuse me, pull your antenna and wire down, run it up to the dash. And that's what we're doing right now. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and even more. Mark 4.24 Yep, there's a lot of bad news out there, a lot of bad information. You need to listen to it be educated and make the right decision. You choose what's right, what's wrong. Don't let the politicians tell you. Well, that's just scary. All we're doing here is we're pulling up the wires from the A post behind the glove box, underneath the dash to where the clutch pedal would be on a manual and you'll see a plug up here on the left. That plug I stuck a metal awl through it to put a hole in and ran the antenna wire up and through into the cowl where I'm going to relocate the antenna. And that's all I'm doing right here. Now we're on the passenger side of the Jeep at the top, moving the padding, unzipping it. We're going to get to the plate right above the passenger's head, and that black box, that's your antenna. So I believe that's a 13 millimeter socket. Undo a few bolts, take that plate off, 
I did have to lower, unbolt and lower the speaker pod just to get the yellow plug for the antenna wire between the roll bar the and the uh, B post. Unbolt it from the bottom of your plate. Put your plate back on the Jeep. Put your padding all back on. This here is just a push pin or push clips. Push them together, pop the antenna out. There you That's go. your antenna. Grids out. All I did here was take some side cutters and cut some of the plastic grating inside the cowl. Took the cowl off for better filming and tightening this bolt was kind of a pain in the derriere. If I were to do this again, and when I do this again, I'm going to put double sided tape underneath the antenna just to keep it from spinning. The bolt holds it in place, but it will turn and twist a little bit. I did break a couple of the plastic body mount clips in doing this. So plan on having a few extra of those around when you do this project. Other than that, that was the only cost. Time to button it up and go on our way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. You have yourself a blessed day. I am going to start showing videos every two weeks instead of weekly, so we'll see you in two weeks. See you then.